All right, I'm about to hit live, guys, or maybe I just, I think it's going. Okay, there it goes. So stop playing the ukulele. All right, hey, guys, it's Margaret back again. I'm going to talk to you guys real quick about how to create a PayPal invoice and what all um, goes into that. So if you are interested in that, um, this is what you're going to do. So I use this like when I'm doing um, PayPal invoicing on my jewelry auctions online or if I sell something in the jewelry group um, or sell something on a Facebook group so that um, I get some protection from PayPal. You know, the invoice go comes through and I have the person's address and all of that good stuff. It creates everything for me. So let me get started with that. If I skip something or I miss something, tell me real quick. Tell me. Okay. So when you come to PayPal and um, you have your your toolbar up at the top, then I click this little arrow down where it says tools and I click invoicing. So I believe I'm already on that correct page and I'm trying to protect people's names and stuff. So um, you can, I don't show you anybody down here. So um, this is what the page looks like. Um, you see a blue button off to the side that says a little plus sign and create. And down at the bottom where you see date, invoice number, recipient, um, and all that good stuff, that's the, um, that's underneath there is where it, all my invoices are. So it separates it out from all my other PayPal transactions and things like that. So it's really super easy for me to get into. Um, and I'll show you in a second where it shows like, how do you know if they paid or how do you know if, you know, if they didn't pay and all that stuff. So I'll show you that in a second too. So the first thing you're going to do is come over here to the button and click create, and that will open up a new invoice form for you. So, and if you're fancy, you can get into creating templates and things like that. Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming to hang out live. Um, let me scoot you this over a little bit. I know I'm taking up a big bunch of the space here. Um, so, and you even have the opportunity to, and of course, here I am. Um, hang on, I'll get back to that in a second. So, um, you can enter your own business information and all that stuff. So, down here, I don't um, do a whole lot with this about frequency because normally the ones I send are one-offs. I guess if you had something that was recurring every month, you could change that on there. Um, so here, your bill to address, that's where you would enter in the person's email address that um, is buying from you. And what I normally do is I have them either PM me, message me, email me to get that. And when I do auctions, or I do um, a sale online, like in the, in the Facebook group, make sure you find out where the person lives because I have been guilty. I forget where, you know, even if they bought from me before, I will forget that they are in the UK or in Australia and I'll just set it up with US shipping and then I have to come back and say, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I forgot you were in the UK. I need to add on, um, you know, however much more to the invoice or create a new invoice just for the difference in, in pretty much everybody's understanding about that. Um, so there's that bill to address there. And then down here, item description. Um, I normally, I just put auction wins and shipping, but I'm going to start cause I, I end up having to go back and forth to my notes. I'm going to start actually itemizing it a little bit better um, here. And then the price, and then I, my price includes the tax already. Um, and then the amount there. Now, when you come down here, it'll, do all this, do that. I just include my shipping in the price. Um, and then you can put a note down here. Thank you so much. If you have um, terms, let's say, or conditions, if you have a return policy, you want to put that in there. That's there. Um, and then I, if you need to attach any files or pictures or things like that, there's that. And then you can preview it and then you can send or you can save as draft. Um, and then back, back, back up at the top, let me scoot you this over so you can see. Um, there's also a preview. There's a send button. Now, I've done this a couple times. Um, you can send via PayPal where it just emails it straight to their email, whatever email you put in there. Um, and then there says share link myself. Now, you can do it both. You can send the PayPal the, um, invoice, and then you can come and get the link, and it'll have a direct link to the invoice to message the person e either via email or like in your personal messenger on Facebook, whatever. Um, save as draft and all that. Okay, so now the other part I was going to share with you. Hang on, let me flip it over because I want to make sure I have everybody's names covered up. I'm trying to be good. Okay, wait, one more time. One more time. Okay, let me pop this up to the top now. Okay, so this is the same page. Um, let me move this out of the way so you can focus, or so I can focus. <laughs> um, 
so this part right here, this um, <laughs> this one is basically the whole top part of the invoicing page where it tells you the person's email, the name. And if you're wondering, like, I'm going to scroll down. Um, <clears throat> let me scroll a little bit more. So along here, this is on that page um, where I clicked invoices, and it shows me all the invoices that I have sent out. Um, and it'll tell you the date, the invoice number, the recipient. The recipient tells like their email address. The status will show paid or not paid. Um, and then action and amount. Hang on, I'm going to scroll down so you can see how that part looks. Without showing a person's name is what I'm trying to do. Here we go. So like here you can see on my invoices, status paid, status paid. Um, here's one that's unpaid, and I can click remind. Um, and then on this drop-down menu, hang on, let me flip it over and see if it's going to show names if I click it. Okay, no, it doesn't. Okay, I just want to. I don't want to show anybody's info. That's not wanting that. Um, let's say on the remind one. I, mean, I don't know if that's the one I click. I can click. So here again, if you're like, oh, I forgot to share the link. There's the link. You can do share link. You can print it. You can copy it. Um, if you need, let me pop over. Sorry, I'm going to show. If there's something else there that I can do. Okay, so on the one where it says remind, there's also all these other options like, oh, they. Oh, you can't see that. Hang on. Let me scroll it down. Um, like, oh, you know, oh, I need to cancel this, or, oh, she paid me a different way. She gave me some cash at the garage sale the other day. I'll just record payment, whatever, um, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so now the next thing that I really like about this, oh, I forgot to pull this up, is that the, the shipping part, because once the person pays, I'm going to see if I can open one of my paid invoices and show you. I meant to pull that up, but I didn't. There at the top of it, um, let me click my unpaid one. First of all, don't don't ship something out if they haven't paid yet. Okay. Um, next, let me see. Here we go. Ah, oh, it's gonna show the person's name. Maybe I can scroll. No. How am I gonna do this? I want to show you. There's like a little. I'm gonna totally squish it. So you're probably not even gonna know where on the page it is. There. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. Um. Uh, uh, what have I done? Let me hide this one down. Boom. 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 Nope, I hit the wrong button. Hang on. Bear with me one second. Okay. So this this one you can you can't really see it very well, but at the top of a paid invoice, I have it just barely squeezed because it has the person's email and everything. Um at the top of this paid let me close that one out so you don't need that anymore. Yes, I want to close that. Um underneath once they've paid it. It says view details, issue refund, or print shipping label. So that's where I go and I print the shipping label straight through PayPal for once they paid. Um, so it makes it super, super handy. And then it, there is another link on PayPal. It's a oh, son of a gun to find. I'm not even going to lie. So I've actually saved it to my bookmarks bar. Um, so hang on. I have it on the wrong thing. Of course I did. Did I? Did I open the wrong one? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, you can see it up on my bookmarks bar up here next to my chore monster for my kids. It says, uh, PayPal shipping label. And when you go looking for it in PayPal, it's almost, you, I can never find it. So let's say somebody just buys something from me from a video and I don't end up doing a invoice through PayPal or I don't know, for whatever reason, every now and then, or let's say I just want to send something to somebody. Let's say I don't want to charge Cindy or Mary or whoever. Um, then I can just come here and create an in, an, a shipping label through PayPal without an invoice or anything like that. I'm going to drop a link to that because I always, always, always lose it. So I put it in my bookmark bar. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We actually have to hit the road. Um, we have to go to tutoring. So I just wanted to come on real quick and show you guys that. So if you were mystified or like, I really want to join this jewelry group, but I don't know how to do a PayPal invoice. I want to do jewelry auctions on my YouTube channel or do that. That sounds, seems like it'd be really fun, but I don't know how to do PayPal invoice. That's how you do it. Um, so, and if you need any other help, then, you know, ask in the group. Or, everybody's really helpful and everything like that. So, and I, I'm sorry if I didn't get a chance to say hey to everybody in the chat. Hi, everybody. Um, yeah, it's really, really useful, super streamlined, and you can just print your labels and go. 
Okay, I will talk to you guys soon. Um, oh gosh, because I'm on my OBS system now and I, I always lose my button to turn it off. Too many buttons. All right, here we go. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.